Hello guys, welcome to my channel Devtake Finance. In this video, I would be showing the financial functions of PMT, IPMT and PPMT. So let's move forward and check out these functions in the Excel sheet. First, try to under understand this scenario. Like you have taken a loan amount of rupees 8 lakh and the interest rate being charged is 8.50% and the loan period is 10 years. Now you wanted to figure out what would what would be the monthly installments that you would have to pay. So just use the function PMT is equal to PMT brackets open. Here it is asking for rate percent. So choose the interest rate percent. Now because you are calculating it in monthly basis, just divide this by 12, comma the number of periods. The number of periods would be your loan period, and here it was 10 years. Now you have to calculate this in monthly, so we would be multiplying this with 12. The present value would be your loan amount. And why is the loan amount considered present value? Because you are availing this loan amount at the present period of time. So generally this is shown as a negative figure. Comma zero because future value is not known and type. So if you are making the payment at the end of the month, just put zero. If you are making the payment at the beginning of the month, put one. So assuming that we are making the payment at the end of the month, we would put zero over here and close the bracket. So this would be the monthly installment which you would have to pay if you are availing a loan amount of 8 lakh at 8.50% 8 for the number of years that is 10 years. Let's figure out what would be the interest in that installment. So use the function IPMT is equal to IPMT brackets open choose again the rate percent. Here period is indicating for which period you are calculating this. So just put one because you are considering the first month number of periods again would be the loan period. Present value would be your loan amount. Future value is not known. So this is your interest amount 5666.67. And now let's try out the principal payment function. So is equal to PPMT brackets open. Take the rate percent divided by 12 comma. The period would be 1. And the number of period again would be the loan period. Multiply that by 12. Consider the present value, put the future value 0 and the payment at the end of the month, brackets close, enter. So guys, here you can see like the installment which you would have to pay is 9918.86 and in this installment there would be interest of 5666.67 and the principal amount would be 4252.19. Now you can also figure it out like uh, here the years was 10 years. Now you can check whether uh, the loan amount or the monthly installment changes if you change the year. So just check it out with 15 years and see what happens. If you're considering 15 years, the payments is decreasing. Why? Because you are taking longer period of time. And if just change the years again as smaller than 10 years. So just take it 5 and see. So the payments are increasing. So this way you can also figure out for how, how many period of time you have to take that loan. So for 10 years as it was 9918.86 the installment that you would have to pay. Thank you guys. I hope you all liked my video and if you liked do subscribe to my channel. Share my channel. Thank you so much for watching.